Hello, Mr. Harry, Mr. Ryan. Are you right? Yeah. Okay, good. So we're given a string with all lowercase uh, characters. And we want and to you, find and out. I want to include H and E in no, uh, Good guess, but not right. <laughs> okay, so we want to find out a substring, substring of Damn size it. 2. Of size 2. Substring continuous, right? Look, H E substring, E A substring, A B. It's continuous, basically a window of 2. So basically, we want to find out if there's any substring of size 2. That also appears in the reverse of it. Okay. So for example, here, yes, because L L is in the reverse of hello, which is O L L E H, right? So Eric Ryan, we can't find any substrate of size two that appears in the reverse version of Eric Ryan. And this one, yes, because look, E A appears in the reverse of it, which is E A. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, so what's your uh, idea? Okay, you just have to find uh, If there are du two duplicates of it next, two duplicates, then yes. Yeah, yeah, duplicates, yes. If we have duplicates, uh, next two, to each other. We, we have a substring of size two, which are duplicate letters, then obviously the reverse it. Yeah? You just have to find the palindrome, like the size of two or three. Palindrome of size. Just, yeah, just make, check if there's a palindrome, like. E A B A E like that. But this is not You can sort it into A B C D E F G H R J K. How does that help? How does it help? No, it's X, Y, and Z. No, you know your A B C <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh Ryan, uh every yeah. what's your thoughts? I literally told you my thoughts. Can you Shower say again? thoughts. Shower I, I thoughts. said you just have to find the palindrome with a size of two or three. Palindrome of size 2. Palindrome of size 2, then it's, you it's you duplicate, right? Force, you can brute force. Yeah, yeah. brute force, yes. From yeah. Like check yeah. Like checking the first two letters of it. And then looking for it by check yeah. and see if it's uh, the opposite of it. But if there's not, you move on to the next entry and you remember it. You remember that thing in like that dictionary thing in the diggy thing. And if you find right. one that is difficult, then you then you stop counting it because you already got an answer. Okay, I kind of know your idea. You're saying that palindrome of size Mine. three, which is something. Yeah, but palindrome of size three, for example, like this one, obviously, right? Yes. But yeah. these, these two, these are just two examples, right? For example, this one is not. Connected, right? It also gives the answer we're looking for, right? Okay? Okay, so. Yeah, yeah, but at least. Yeah. Eric, Ryan, please. Oh, yeah. Ah! Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, okay. Oh, yeah. But proof us, yes. Okay? We can prove us. How can we prove us? There we are, come on, please. We can prove us, right? How can we prove us? We just have to check every size 2 to see if they are equal, right? For example, like size 2. We just check every pair of size 2, uh, pair, uh, size two substring, right? So we have to, you know, we just check size 2, size 2. And then if it's equal, for example, like equal, then learn we find it, okay? Uh, yeah? Another, another solution, which is uh, more optimum, is we find a... Uh, we use the hashtag to remember that size two. What's right? an IR sensor? We will work. Hey, what's an IR sensor? I don't know. There are two ways. Okay, so first way is proof us. Yeah? The second way. Counter. Yeah, something to do with the counter, but how can we remember this? Uh, hashtag. Yeah, hashtag, yes. We, yes! We Hash just down. walk through. Well, we just brown. walk iterate from left to the right. Hash brown. Okay, so we just walk from left to the right, and then we remember every substring of size two in a headset, right? And then at the meantime, we check the reverse of it appears in a headset or not. If if yes, then we we simply do ten yes. Okay. So okay, so let's just uh, write write the code. Okay. The first one, proof of define proof of the string and equals the length as we find the size okay and then for i in range n minus one because we want to 
we want to find the substring of size 2, so up to n minus 1 here. For j in range n minus 1. Okay, now if si, si plus 1, right? Equal, equal, s, sj plus 1, sj. Then we turn true. Otherwise, if we can't find anything here, then we return false. So this is the proof of, okay? For i, so so basically, look at this, right? This is the check, okay? So if si, si plus 1, right? This is the size 2, size 2 substring equals sj plus 1, sj. So this is the reverse version, right? So look, basically, look, er, is it the same as yr or something like that, right? Ea is the same as Ea. Okay, that, that's reverse. Then we return true. What's the time complexity for this one? Oh, square. Oh, and square. Look, because there are two four, four. four loops, and then for each i, for 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 each i, we need to iterate uh, j time n times. So let's n times n o n square. Okay. The space complexity is o one because we're not using any uh, linear space. Okay, we just use constant space here. See, this is proof of us, right? Does it make sense? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, we talk about the using hash set. Okay, so let's write the code. Define the using the hash set. Yes. So, sin equal using the hash set. Okay, I'm going to introduce a function Woo! called pairwise function. This is from the uh, eta tools. For a, b in pairwise but when, when you're introducing yes. a new function, you're like, okay, here's the function, this is what's the name, this is where it comes from, and then let's, let's go through pairwise. Okay, I'm going to explain, okay? So, guess what's this pairwise from looking at this code, okay? Pair, it's going to okay. pair, pair something in a wise way. Yeah. Okay, sin <laughs> dot a. Look, guess the meaning. A it's going to pair B. something in a wise way. Yeah. If B... A is in sin, then we return true. Otherwise, if you can't find it, return false. Right? Okay. For A B in pairwise S, we add A B, which is the tuple, to the headset. And then we check the reverse version of it. If B A if it's in the sin, then we return true. Otherwise, we return false. So what's what's the pairwise? Can you guess the meaning from this code, this piece of code? We already said it like three times. So okay, what's what does it do? Pair it widely. It's pairing it wisely. Okay, so let's say, for example, like pairwise this this thing. So what does it return? A is H B Z. Yeah, B Z. Okay, and then next B Z. And then E and L. Yeah. So basically, it's least right, the neighboring. Yeah, right? that brute force. You can't to like no no look um, so that's why i said yeah, look at this what, piece of what, code that's what we said is a parent wisely yeah from this piece of code you should be able to figure out the meaning because not this really. is the, the same okay for a b look why is it not it's so obvious no if b a in sin then we find the reverse it then we we just return we just find it okay for a b a B look pairwise so A B like that. This is pairwise. Okay. The obvious one you know it, but you just told us oh okay. But this is this is solving the same problem. At least you have this for the reference so you should be able to figure out, okay? Yes, C that A B F A. <laughs> this is not funny, okay? Pairwise S returns the iterator to every substring of size 2. Okay, so for A, B, no, in no, pairwise no, S, no, 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 I don't know what that means. For size 2, look, H, E, and then the next E, L, so basically like that, moving towards to the end, okay? This is pairwise, this is A, this is B. Okay? Okay! Do you understand now? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for this one, we're using a headset to remember the substring of size 2 window when we iterate over the string from left to the right using the pairwise, which returns the iterator of 
every substring of size 2. Okay? And we add it to the high side and we check the reverse, which is BA, right? Look A B. So basically this one corresponds to this for i in range n minus 1 and a equals si and b equals si plus 1 okay this is just a, a better syntax i will check a reversal and if it is then return true okay both of these functions can be rewritten using any because look we are trying to find if there is any any substring of size 2 that matches the condition so we can use the any function return any these for i in range n minus 1, for j in range n minus 1. So this one, the time complexity is O n because we're iterating from left to the right once. And we're using the headset, so this is O n space. Another way, right? Another way we can write it this way. We can write it this way. Return any s i plus si plus 1 in the reverse version how do we reverse it we are done okay for <laughs> i in hey, range hey you forgot to put the brackets on the outside on the first here here i haven't finished yet okay right this is the one line return oh, any okay we want to find if there's any any of what <laughs> substring of size 2 in reverse it okay and for range i in uh this is to be and uh range n minus one okay so i in range n minus one and we want to find the reverse okay so this one this is o n okay we want to find find something in that this is o n right find something in that for i for i in range so this is actually O n square, right? Why is that? Because this is we can unroll it. It's same thing as for i in range n minus one if s i plus s i plus one in s colon colon minus one. Okay, return true. Okay. Right? So this one we can you know save it because this doesn't change, right? Let's say uh, reverse s. And then this change to reverse s. So look, this is O n, and this one, when we check if a string, if a, an array or list has a substring, this is O n times. So this is O n uh, squared. Okay. So another way is that we use the pairwise. Right. Return any x plus y in reverse. Right. This is the same reverse for x y in pairwise pairwise s right right look right return x plus y because x and y are neighbors right x y pairwise s and then we want to find if this substring size 2 is in the reverse version of it okay this is just a, a syntax sugar so which one is better which one which one the last one yeah, the, the, this one and this one. Which one is better? Last one. Last one. Why is it better? This is... Uh, because you already did the last no, one. No, no, no. The time complexity is... This one is better, right? Because this is ON. Uh, actually, actually, it depends, right? This one is ON time ON space. This if one depends, is... Then you can't say it's wrong. This one is ON square uh, O1 space. Okay, this is time, this is space. Okay, and this one, these two are shorter. This, both of these is O n square O1, okay? So one, two, three. These three approach O n square quadratic time O1 space. This one we treat the space with the time, okay? Then what do you mean by better? That's a good question. There's no better. It depends on the context. Then why okay? do you say better? That's an open question. That's very good, okay? So there's no better or there's no right or wrong answer. Yeah, it really you... depends on how you use it. For example, like if you want to run this, run this algorithm on a memory limited, suppose you don't have enough memory, okay? Then the only choice is this, right? Because, it, you know, you don't have a big memory and then 
you you spend more time on running it, which is acceptable for you. Okay, but if you don't want to bless you, but if you don't want to don't want the solution takes too much time, then this is the only choice for you because this is a linear, right? If this n is a million, and then a million times a million, which is the way too slow, you can get the answer. Okay, does it make sense? So when I next time when I ask you what is better. You really need to compare. Uh, ba basically, what I'm, I'm asking is that how do you compare the solutions here? Okay. Yeah? yeah. That's it for today. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.